Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be reviewing for you guys this Hoover One Bauer wet and dry vacuum. I never knew I needed a portable shelf vac in the shape of a toolbox until I got this. I really like it because it is wet and dry vacuum so you can use it for wet messes and dry messes and guess what? You can use it as a blower as well. It is especially convenient if you don't have a cordless vacuum. And you know, even if you have a cordless vacuum, you don't want to use your nice cordless Dyson to vacuum drywall dust. So I really like that. And you know, if you have only corded vacuum, we don't always feel like dragging out the big corded machine for little jobs like vacuuming a few crumbs out of your car. We have a big utility shelf vac that my husband uses for the garage and the house project messes. Um, it is heavy, it is bulky, it is such a pain to use. It has wheels. Half the time when I'm vacuuming my car, I'm chasing after so it doesn't go to the street. So I am really glad that I ordered this cordless vacuum. It works off of battery and it is one tool of the Hoover One Power lineup. I really like those products because they all uses the same battery right now i have three machines of this lineup i have the spotless go and i also have the floor made jet mop i have a review video on both of them if you guys want to check them out they'll be linked in the description box below but i really like those products because like i said they all uses the same battery and now i have three batteries that works on all of them so before i show you guys the vacuum itself we're going to talk about the battery this unit came with the 2.0 battery and this is the charger. You can purchase a higher amp batteries. They are available online for a little bit more money. And the battery has one button on the top. When you press it, there's four lights to show you the battery status and whenever it's on the charger and it's charging the lights also will blink to show you the state of charge and whenever it's fully charged it will turn off by itself. When you attach the battery to the vacuum, it will clip on like this and it has two buttons on the side that you can press in whenever you want to release it to recharge it again and actually recharges pretty fast, maybe like three hours. Now, when I was researching this vacuum, some reviews said this battery lasts for five minutes, some said eight, some said 10. So to know for sure, I'm actually going to time it. I'm going to turn the vacuum on and set the timer on my phone and let's see how long this battery lasts. All right, guys, so I got this battery full at four bars and I'm going to hit the timer and I'm going to turn it on. So this is the 2 amp battery and it lasted for 6 minutes and 20 seconds. The hose is flexible and it will stretch out to 6 feet in length. This is really nice and I really like how you can store it around the unit like this when it's not been used. You guys know this is usually a very hard thing to do with the shop bags. It came with a couple of attachments which are very handy. So we have this crevice tool and on this side here we have this utility nozzle with this like funnel shape with like head now with both of them i can usually get to all the nooks and crannies of my vehicle and this wider head you'll also need when you switch the vacuum to blower i'll show you guys that later but i really like how you can store the tools on the vacuum itself each one has little space so they are stored nice and neat and they can't get lost the power switch is on the top here it's very easy to find and use now i'm going to open it up to show you guys the filter and the container on the inside so to open it up you have these tabs that you just need to release like this and you can lift the top off so this is our container it's like three gallon container i'm going to set it aside to show you guys the filter now this is the dry filter it is rinsable and reusable as well now you don't have to wash it every time you use it um you know just shake it usually every time you empty the container give it a nice shake and when you see it you know getting this color and really dirty you can rinse it actually at first i wasn't really sure if you can rinse it because 
The manual didn't say anything about that. It just uh, said shake it of any debris and dirt. But I was able to find the information online on hoover.com. They have this filter as reusable and rinsable. So that is really nice. And when you use this vacuum as a wet vacuum, you need to remove this dry filter all the time. The vacuum itself, it's actually not too heavy. I think with the attachments on and the hose, it's like nine pounds. And you have this handle on the top here you can lock it open like this it has very nice grip to it and you can also lock it close like this so that's really nice when you want to carry it around now let's move on to do some demonstrations all right guys so we got out here to the garage and first thing first we have to test out the dry vacuum so i have fresh battery on me i'm going to clip it in and we're going to just vacuum this floor mat really quick. Alright guys, so we did a very good amount of vacuuming. I did the rubber floor mat for this cargo area first, then I did the carpet, and I got these two floor mats for the front. I did them in here as well. I think I still have some juice left in the battery, but I want to show you really quick the hose, how long this one extends like that's very decent i was very comfortable working around it wasn't in the way at all and um, yeah i'm just gonna do some more vacuuming right now finish up this battery and then we'll place a new battery on and we'll test the wet vacuuming now i'm going to show you guys really quick how to empty this vacuum so just lift the head off like this and now you can dump everything out on trash can or outside like in the dirt because it has this lip all around, like I hope you guys can see it, it's sometimes it's really hard to get everything out, just so just make sure you shake it, move it around and shake it so you get everything out. Now I'm going to remove the filters to do some wet vacuuming, just twist it like this off, give it a good shake. For demonstration purposes, I have a, like a gallon of water in this bucket and I'm going to use this vacuum to suck it up. Remember, this vacuum can suck three gallons at a time. It has the water float inside the filter housing. So it actually has that, that as a feature, it will shut off automatically the suction when the container gets to wet full capacity. Wow, that was powerful. <laughs> All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you how we can switch it to blower. So to do that, you need this utility nozzle and you need to push this like funnel end into the exhaust port. Now we can twist the hose off and attach the other end of the hose on the top of this utility nozzle. And that's it. All right, guys, so now I'm going to share my pros and cons. For my pros, this is actually a really good quality unit. It's pretty powerful for its size, and I love the wet and dry versatility. You can really use it for everything. It's great for pet owners, and it's pretty easy to store. It takes a very small footprint. And lastly, it is cordless, so there's no cord to take out and put away. You can use it now in places that you don't necessarily have access to an electric outlet. And if you invest in the Hoover One Bauer lineup, they have a lot of stuff now. They have mops, vacuums, a carpet cleaner. Soon they'll have a blender. Who knows? If they make one, I'll, I'll make sure to get it. And for my cons, now, I know I said um, cordless as one of my pros, but I can see the battery as a negative thing for some people because... Like you guys see, I have a collection of batteries now because I have three machines. But if you don't, and if you're vacuuming something, you really have to stop when the battery run out. You have to stop, go inside to recharge it. And the good news is that it takes up very like little, little time to charge, like three hours. I know that could sound like a long time, uh, but if you think of Dyson batteries, they take about five hours to charge so it's actually not too bad especially if you can just plug it in go about your day do something else and then you can come back to it once it's fully charged and 
second count, or you know, I just want you to consider this. The hose is a little too short. I only had problem with it when I was using it as a blower. I really have to bend down the whole time. For all, this is a great unit, but put in mind, this is a cordless vacuum, so it's not going to be as powerful or as strong as your heavy duty big shop vac, but it is a nice tool to have on hand for the home and the garage. And you know, I think this is a great gift idea for a dad for Father's Day. Uh, you know, even if he has one, you know, more likely he doesn't have a mobile one like this. And you can also gift it for your hobby for all the same reasons as well. You know, college student or maybe a new homeowner, DIY person. I just think this is a great vacuum that everyone should have. And uh, with that, we complete this video, my friends. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs it up, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next time. Bye.